Hello my friends and welcome to Practice English with Paul. Here is the fourth video in the five common mistakes that Russian speakers learn in English make. If you haven't seen the other three, part one, two and three, go and check them out now. So, let's start. Number one. Can we please speak on English? Can you spot the mistake? Of course, it's the preposition. We don't say speak on English, we say speak in English. Number two to decide a problem. This is such a common mistake because in Russian you have the word decide. Uh, you know what it is, don't ask me to embarrass myself by my bad pronunciation. But Russians can say to decide a problem in Russian but we can't in English. What's the verb that we use? Exactly, solve a problem. Okay, not to decide a problem. So, you know, don't make that mistake, especially in your exam essays. Number three, I love this mistake, it's so funny. Okay, sorry if students, I laugh at you, but it is funny. My friend is a good cooker. My friend is a very good cooker. And when students say this, I say, wow, your friend is a good cooker. What's your friend's name? Samsung? Well, Paul, HG? You mean your friend is a good cook? Yes, I can understand the mistake because professions in English often have the suffix ER, but unfortunately, not here. Okay, my friend is a good cook. My friend isn't a big metal object which pumps out gas and cooks sausages. Number four. This is a very interesting mistake actually. Today is Wednesday, so I'll see you next Saturday. And so I'm waiting next Saturday for my friend at the bus stop and he doesn't arrive because he meant this Saturday, not next Saturday. So there's a sort of mistake that students make with the word on Saturday, this Saturday and next Saturday. So imagine today's Wednesday and I, and I want to talk about the coming Saturday, I will say I'll meet you this Saturday. Okay, the previous one I would say last Saturday, so there's no confusion. Next Saturday is not this one, but the Saturday in over a week, next Saturday. Now if I'm going to say on Saturday, it depends on your tense. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll meet you on Saturday. I'll meet you on Saturday, so this Saturday. I met you on Saturday. I met last Saturday. It's very, very simple. Number five, this is such a common mistake, it's unbelievable. And if there are any teachers around Russia are watching this, please pay attention to this because I have seen teachers teaching this to their kids, okay, and it's a mistake. Many Russians, um, and maybe not just Russians, other people around the world, pronounce this word clothes. Clothes is completely wrong. We don't pronounce it like that. The correct pronunciation is clothes. Clothes. But even for me, as a native speaker, to say clothes is quite hard, okay, because my tongue doesn't work very well. So, we actually pronounce it close, like as in the word to close the door. And if you look at online dictionaries, they will actually give this uh, variant. And that's how we native speakers pronounce it. I'm putting on some clothes. Uh, I'm going to buy some clothes, okay? So, that finishes our little series of common mistakes. Thumbs up, subscribe, share the video with your cats and the dogs, and if you've got a parrot, share it with your parrot, doesn't matter. Um, write some comments below, and if there are some more mistakes that you've heard, even from around the world, from Brazil or Europe, whatever, Tell me and I'll make a video about them. So, wishing you a fantastic day. Spring is coming. I'm about to go for a nice walk outside to breathe in that fresh Moscow air. Okay? Have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.